Hey, everyone. It's hard to say if the MCU will ever experience that same level of hype that Avengers Endgame offered back in 2019. It feels like the case that that's something that's just never really going to actually ever happen. Um, maybe with Avengers Secret Wars, it has the potential. Recently, though, however, the Miss Marvel star herself, Iman Vellani, had kind of went on to explain how the MCU can reach that Endgame level hype again in an exclusive interview with the Direct. The Marvel's star, Iman Vellani, shared what she thinks is important for Marvel Studios to do in order to once again see fans hype for the MCU reach what Avengers Endgame level once had. There's no denying that the overall excitement for the MCU by the general audience is not where it once was, of course. Many fans have loudly vocalized their disappointments with the quality of Marvel Studios' recent outings, with Phase 4 and Phase 5 generating the first three rotten projects of the franchise thanks to Eternals, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and Secret Invasion on Disney+. Even many recent projects that aren't rotten are touted as being okay at best. This has led to an increasing worriness of what the MCU has to offer, especially with its endless stream of content at that. But can Marvel Studios ever hope to regain any of that hype and magic by the time either Avengers The King Dynasty or Secret Wars rolls around as I had mentioned? Well, here's what Iman Vellani has to say herself. In a recent exclusive interview with the direct's Russ Milem, the Marvel's star Iman Vellani explained how the MCU could reach that Avengers Endgame level hype once again. When asked directly what she thinks Marvel Studios needs to do to recapture that magic, the actress behind Miss Marvel had claimed that it's just about making the audience care about their characters. She says that, in quote, I don't know. I don't know if it's just about getting bigger and bigger and bigger because then it's like, what's left, you know? I think it's just about making the audience care about their characters, and I think that they've established so many wonderful characters in the last phase of the MCU that it would be nice to see them all again and see them all team up. And that quote right there. And I think that it's something that it's not a lot of people have discussed or haven't really even thought about, but it is a little bit of a worry of mine is that there aren't any other Avengers movies before we're supposed to get the two big ones, Avengers King Dynasty and Secret Wars. And in comparison, those movies of King Dynasty and Secret Wars are supposed to be like that new Infinity War and Endgame essentially being released a year apart from one another. There isn't really any other Avengers movies to build up on from that though, however, like the first Avengers movie from 2012 or Age of Ultron. To kind of just have those characters team up once again and have them like actually together I think is something that they do need to do, although it's tough to say if they will be able to actually even do that. She goes on to explain how, with all these new characters appearing, fans also just want to see new pair-ups and crossovers happen, actually. She says that, in quote, I think because that there are so many new characters people want to like, start shipping people together and be like, oh, seeing Kamala and, like, the Red Guardian together. Like, imagine all of these pair-ups. I think that would be definitely a payoff. It'll be like, you know, the next Avengers. I need that quote right there. And that is exactly something that the recent The Marvels movie did do, in a way, acting as a miniaturized Avengers movie in a way. It's just that we need more movies and projects like that overall. More crossover movies, really. More Avengers movies, I think, is the route that they do need to take. Speaking as a fan, Villani had shared that the Thursday night openings of these movies are like a source of happiness for her. She says that, in quote, but yeah, I mean, I'm speaking as a fan, like, I'm still there every Thursday night, like all the Thursday night openings of these movies, they're just like a source of happiness for me, and the commercial success honestly doesn't determine the enjoyment of the film for me. Like, I judge a movie by the feeling it's left with me, and yeah, I do want to leave a movie feeling a little bit lighter and a little bit happier. I hope that the audience does too. I need that quote right there. The direct Russ Melem then joked about the pressure for a team-up is all on how Miss Marvel, now due to her recruitment starting up at the end of the Marvel's movie. Valani made it clear that she completely trusts her, saying that, in quote, I guess I do trust her. I think that she knows what she's doing. She's got that little saber tablet. It probably has a lot of information on it that she can take. I need that quote right there. What the end of the Marvel's movie did leave us with, apparently, is kind of acting towards the next team up of the Avengers and really trying to assemble a new team under what Saber is. Saber is essentially the new shield of what had first brought together the Avengers in the first place back ago in 2012 with the first Avengers movie. For someone like Aman Vellani, who has this massive, just being a massive fan before actually even entering the MCU herself, which has to be the coolest thing ever, how has being on the inside really changed her from now being a part of it? 
The star did admit to how she's definitely changed, and with seeing the process of, of how these movies are made, has humanized these films so much more for her. She says that, in quotes, this, that is, I mean, I'm definitely changed. I can't watch these movies or shows the same way before. It's just like, I know when things are green screen now. I know when, like, how the film, certain fight scenes and stuff. But I think watching, like, real people work on these movies and seeing all the effort and manpower and woman power that goes into making a movie like this, it just humanizes the films so much more for me. Ending that quote right there. Every single person that's worked at Marvel Studios is genuinely a fan of those projects, she says, adding that they love both their craft and jobs so much, saying that, in quote, they have so much to offer beyond the amazing storytelling with these projects. Every single person that works at Marvel Studios is genuinely a fan and so in love with their craft and in love with their job, and I think that dedication to their work is what makes a good, if not great, movie. So I've gotten a meet a lot of really cool people yeah it's kind of ruined a little bit though i need that quote right there just really being able to speak on what it's like the the before process and after process of now being like on the inside versus the outside of working on these marvel projects is definitely going to change things up I'm taking it from somebody that is currently studying film and within the film industry as of for myself it, i look at movies and shows differently now of course the way that they're worked on and the way of where you're able to see little holes here and there kind of just criticizing every little thing in a way whether that's good or bad though of course is up in the air not all criticisms are necessarily bad or horrible this year all being said focusing on the mcu characters is what it seems that marvel studios really needs to do and as i had mentioned maybe trying to prompt up a couple avenger team-up movies whether they're official avengers titled movies or movies like the marvels as a mini avengers team up essentially is something that marvel studios needs to try to do before they're able to reach avengers king dynasty and secret wars Iman Vellani isn't necessarily wrong. Caring about the characters is key and a part of the story. A majority of Avengers Endgame's three-hour runtime works because of its characters' work. With the multiversal saga, though, so many new faces have been introduced, yet fans aren't being really given any substantial time with them. Shang-Chi made his first appearance back in 2021, but since then there's been no official word on when he'll actually pop up again. Likewise, fans have no idea when they'll ever get further glimpses of heroes like Eternals, America Chavez, Moon Knight, or She-Hulk. The Infinity Saga worked so well because its roster of characters constantly appeared throughout other projects, not going nearly half a decade without an update on them. Team-ups and more crossovers are equally important to have more of. It helps build those character dynamics, which, as they're established, can go on to blossom into engrossing development for these heroes over time. Hopefully, given all the changes going on at Marvel Studios behind the scenes, such as the substantial movie delays and massive resets of projects, more of these multiversal projects can satisfy and fall into place over the next coming years to really help build up towards the next Avengers movies. This year, being said guys let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below i would love to hear what you guys are all thinking what do you guys want to see with the future of marvel let me know what you guys are all thinking in the comment section down below thanks so much for watching today's video of course this has been an official mcu i'll catch you guys in the next one have a great one peace out